All right, everybody, welcome back to the Tinkerverse. Today, we're going to do a little bit of a skill builder exercise. I want to draw a particular symbol, and we're going to pretend like the trace feature is not as good as it is, and I'm going to draw this the long way. And really, the reason I'm doing this is because I just want to get some practice using the circle array. And so this entire project is going to be drawn with some basic shapes, uh, a little bit of basic node editing, and the circle array. So the first thing I'm going to do is give myself a crosshairs here and set that as a tool layer. And I'm going to line those up centered, center. Okay, so that just gives me a reference point to start all of my work from that I'm going to be doing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a circle. And I'm going to hold shift and control so that I constrain a circle as well as constrain it from the center point. And we'll go out to about there. Next, we're going to make another circle here from the same center point, again, holding shift and control or shift and command, I guess, for you Mac users. And we'll draw out to about there. Now, what I want to do is I want to draw a line that goes from my center point out to somewhere on this circle. And... I'm going to hold Alt so it constrains it to the circle. Well, it's not going to constrain it, but you'll see I've got a little bit of a margin for error. If I don't hold Alt, it doesn't snap as easy. So I'm going to hold Alt. It's going to kind of hold me snap to that circle. And that looks about good. So we're going to go there. Now, I want a matching line to this on the other side. So I could either draw the line and guess at it, or I could come in here, click my line, click my center line, and say I want to mirror across uh, a line. And so what that's gonna do is it's going to mirror the current selection across the selected line and give me the same, uh, the same length, the same angle, everything else. All right, so where I'm at now is the next step is I wanna actually connect these two up so that I end up with a pie-shaped wedge. And I can do this one of two ways. And I'm actually gonna show you both ways. So the first way is that I'm going to convert this outer circle to a path. This is a little bit of a long way around it, but it guarantees that my arc here is what I want. So I'm going to convert that to a path, and then I'm going to go into node editing, and I'm going to insert using the letter I, I'm going to insert a node at each of these intersections so that now I've got a single line segment that closes off this piece of pie and then I'm going to hover over the other segments and hit delete or not delete D for delete 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 and delete so there we go now it's not joined yet so if you see if I select it each of these is three individual lines so I'm going to select all three of these and I'm going to go up to edit and I'm going to say auto join selected shapes or I can use alt J and what that'll do, you'll see that all my lines start dancing in the right order. Um, so that gives me a single closed shape. And then I want to array this. So I want six copies of this to go around this circle. So I'm going to select the pie shape, and then I'm going to select the circle. Go to my circle array, and I'm going to make sure that the use last selected object position as center is turned on. So if I turn that off, it's not going to give me what I want. And while that's cool, it's not what I'm after. So I want that on. I want to auto rotate. If I don't do that, then it doesn't rotate them around the center. Um, I'm not using auto increment. Um, I do want it to group and select when I'm done. And I've got six copies. So that's it. Hit OK. And so now I've got a grouped array around this circle. So I'm going to keep that group. And then I'm going to hold shift and select the circle. And then I am going to Boolean union these together. And there we go. So now I have this little snowflake shape. So now I'm going to repeat this process a couple more times. And those who are paying attention may start to see what this is going to end up being. Um, so I want to do a circle there. And I'm going to do another one just outside around about there okay so similar process I'm gonna take a line and I'm gonna bring it out 
uh, to about there. And then I will take this and I want to mirror it across that line. And then this is where I'll show you the second option is I'm going to actually take the line tool and I'm going to go from this point to this point and then go into node editing and I'm going to drag this up to create an arc. And now you see where I've got to sit here and kind of fiddle with it a little bit to make sure that my arc is lined up the way that I want it. So, um, let's see somewhere. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now I'm going to delete this outer circle so I can see what I'm working with. And same as before, I'm going to select all three of these. And we're going to Alt J to auto join. And there we go. So now next I'm going to take that pie and that circle and I'm going to circle array the same as before. That looks good. And then lastly, take those union and there we go. Okay. Now a couple more here, draw out another circle a little bit closer. Draw out another circle a little bit farther. And then a last circle there to finish it off. Now, this should start looking really familiar to any of those who are Star Wars fans. Uh, but let's go ahead and finish this off. So I'm going to draw a little rectangle here to connect these circles up. So I'm going to start from my center line. And if I start drawing out like that, um, it'll go off just to one side of the line. However, if I hold control, it will um, mirror that across the line. So I want it to be somewhere about there. That looks good. And the length doesn't matter because I'm going to be unioning all this together. But first thing I need to do again is do an array. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to select that shape and we're going to circle array this. And again, my six copies, and then we'll take these two, union them together. And then we're going to take these two, and I'm actually going to do control B to bring up my Boolean operators because union's not going to be what I want. Union's going to join everything that overlaps there. So intersection of A and B is not right. Uh, subtract A from B is not right, but subtract B from A looks right. So I want subtract B from A, hit OK. And there you go. So if I take that, turn on my fill view, and then drop that in, there you go. So we have now just replicated the Galactic Empire logo from Star Wars. Um, you can tweak this. Obviously, I was doing it freehand. Um, I wasn't doing exact proportions or dimensions, but um, for the sake of just walking through the tutorial, I'd say that's not too bad of a representation. So if I were to group that, I just want to see how close I came. Now, let me uh, move my image layer down. Okay. So if I were to group that and resize it, I'd say we're pretty dang close. Not bad. All right, so there you go. So that was using just a few basic tools in Lightburn. A little skill builder exercise on using the circle array tool, a um, little bit of node editing, um, basic uh, controls and commands and modifiers, shift and control and alt to work from center points, alt to snap to different things. Uh, so there you go. You know, I like to do these little skill builders where I'll go pick something and say, hey, let me figure out how to replicate that in Lightburn. And that just keeps me up to date on the tools and makes me think outside the box a little bit to say, if I were to make this from scratch, how would I create that design? Uh, I kind of challenge you guys to do a little bit of the same. So go pick something that looks like, uh, you know, would be an interesting challenge and bring it in and figure out how to replicate it. All right, guys, until next time, thanks. Take care.